let's talk about the gallery tab for a second. On the side here you have page sorter, gallery, and attachments. The gallery tab, when you click on it, it gives you a host of things that you can choose from. We're not going to go over the smart learning marketplace because that's not a feature we have. We're going to go over my content, essential for educators, and gallery sampler. The online resources is coming soon from Smartboard Technology. But you start out here in the gallery sampler. Click in the gallery sampler, it's going to give you choices pictures and backgrounds, interactive and multimedia, lesson activities, notebook, files, and pages. You could choose any one of these. Say, for example, I like an armchair. Click it, drag it over to your notebook software, and here it is. Now you can manipulate it how you want. If you'd like to keep this for later reference, you can save this into My Content. My Content is where you save all of your stuff from the gallery sampler. So I would go over here to this drop down and add to my content. It now puts it in my content folder. How do I know this? Because of the drop down arrow that's here. Here's my content with my content stuff. Now, say you don't want to call it an armchair, say you want to just call it a chair. My content. Now, say you don't want to call it an armchair, you want to call it a chair. If you go to your drop down, you can rename it. Up here is where your online keyboard is going to be. You can type in whatever name that you want in here, enter it, and now your chair has been renamed. Another section in the gallery sampler is education and professional. You could pick up education with pictures and backgrounds, and you could pick up professional stuff with engineering, general resources, presenting, and strategy. Again, science and technology, for example, you could click on animals. There are two interactive and multimedia animals in science and technology. Here's my tiger. You can drag it out, make it as large as you'd like it, and save it into your content for later use. Now I have one interactive multimedia and I have one picture and background. 